Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Roni and I am the student of Kipni International Business School. In this video, I'd like to share with you about the lesson learned from Corporate Finance class facilitated by Prof. Roy Sambel. Hope you like and enjoy. Actually, what is financial management? Financial management is the optimal orchestration of internal and external financial resources towards significant and sustainable value creation. So the key point is significant and sustainable value creation. What to manage in the financial management? The first one is capital structure. The second one, working capital management. Asset structure, revenue management, cost management, cash flow management, growth management, and lastly, risk management. How about the corporation and the financial markets? So we have the investors and then the corporation or the management. The investors provide cash to the corporate and then the corporate could run the business. And at the end, the corporate provide the dividend to the investors. There is also tax that should be provided by the corporate to the government. It is depend on the meeting that the corporate could reinvest the cash so that the corporate could grow. That's the relation and some of the activities between the corporation and the investors. At the discussion, we also learn about the important finance concepts. There are is return trade-off, time value of money, cash is key, incremental cash flows, course of competitive markets, efficient capital markets, agency problem, taxes based business decisions, or risk is not equal and ethical behavior. If we talk about the value creation, we learn four cornerstones of corporate finance. There are core of value principle, conservation of value principle, expectations treadmill principle, and then best owner principle. At the core of value principle, we learn that value is driven by return on capital, growth, and cash flow. And at the conservation of value principle, we learn that activities without changing the growth, ROIC, and cash flow will not create value because it's only moving partial value from one pocket to another. Value is created when companies could generate growth, generate ROIC or return on capital, and eventually higher cash flow. And the third one is expectation treadmill principle. It talks that the more investor expect of your share price, the better you must perform to keep up. And lastly is based owner principle. The value of the business depends upon its owner capabilities. The last key takeaway from corporate finance class is about time value of money. Receiving $1 today is worth more than $1 in the future due to opportunity cost. The opportunity cost of receiving $1 in the future is the interest we could have earned if we had received the $1 sooner. In this section, we also learn about the compounding and discounting. If we can translate one dollar today into its equivalent in the future, it is called compounding. Then we can know the future value. And discounting is if we can translate one dollar in the future into its equivalent today, so that we can know the value of the present. It's called present value. Those are the key takeaways I got from the corporate finance class. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I will share with you another lesson learned regarding corporate finance at the next session. See you and bye!